In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of discuss the benefits of a responsibility accounting system. When we see a discussion question or essay question such as this, our goal typically is to expand on the discussion question or essay question response in order to hopefully pick up the most points or be more likely to pick up the most points with an essay question. If we add more than less, we're more likely to touch on some of those items that the answer is looking for. And if we're in a discussion question, our goal is to add relevant content to the discussion, which could be done with expanding our discussion about uh, the, the question that is presented. So keeping that in mind, let's go through this again. Discuss the benefits of a responsibility accounting system. So responsibility accounting system, again, we might want to take a step back and say that, well, first, the responsibility accounting system is something that we might put in place in more of a managerial accounting system as opposed to financial accounting. It's more of a managerial accounting term because it's going to be helping us to assign responsibility to departments within the company uh, as opposed to financial accounting, which is really there to report the information on the company as a whole rather than uh, kind of drilling down into the segments. In managerial accounting, we're going to basically be looking at more segments of the organization trying to see where we can improve and in doing so oftentimes breaking the company up into segments that we can then measure assess and see where improvement can happen responsibility accounting is an accounting system used to control costs and expenses and evaluate managers performance by assigning costs and expenses to the managers responsible for controlling them so note we're going to be basically breaking up the company it typically will be in the lines with or along with the concept of a decentralization of an organization. Remember that when we talk about the, the company, if it's a small company, then you might have a very centralized organization and, and the owner might be involved in most of the decisions. As the company grows, more delegation of responsibility is necessary. For larger companies, it's often the case where we may have to, de we have to decentralize to some degree and then it's a question in terms of how much decentralization do we want? In other words, how much control do we want to have in the regional manager's positions as opposed to in the central office uh, type position? And responsibility accounting, then it's going to help us to hold those regional managers basically responsible for the, the items that they have control over. So when we consider decentralization, larger companies, managers being in control of their own segments, given more autonomy, to management, then we have to consider, well, how are we going to measure this information? In other words, how are we going to assign what exactly needs to be done by each level of, of management so that we can, they are aware of what needs to be done and no, no crucial component of the processing of the organization is not assigned to somebody. Everybody needs a, a good chart in terms of who is responsible for what. And then we need, of course, the measurement tools to be able to measure how the managers are doing holding someone responsible who of course will be the manager of different regions of different uh, departments so we're going to hold the managers responsible for those departments and typically some of the terms that we'll use in responsibility accounting are going to be a controllable cost versus an uncontrollable cost so uh, we, we want to hold managers responsible in other words for what they have control over and therefore we're going to break out our costs by the department and then say what kind of things does this manager have control over in terms of costs and design a, a measurement tool in order to evaluate their performance based on what they have control over things that they do not have control over even if they are costs of the department are not things that we want to hold someone responsible for just as if you can think compare this to like a legal system you know if someone if there's a crime and someone had no control over the outcome of the crime you would think that that would be a, they wouldn't be uh, a criminal in some case you couldn't really convict someone of something if they had no control over their actions of what they did and that's same kind of logic applies here of course if if you're talking about the, a, a department doing well or doing poorly if it did well or poorly because of something that's completely out of control of that manager then it's not something that you should attribute the benefit or the 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 problem to if however it, they're doing well with regards to things that they do have control over that's when you want to give the benefit or or see how to improve on it